Thanks a lot. Thieves are making big money off our public lands by stealing exotic plants. Ferns, grasses, and other native species are worth millions in the international floral market. Tonight, News Channel 8 investigates stealing Christmas. Outdoor reporter Grant McComey shows us how this illegal market is supported by consumers. Grant, these plants are in holiday flower arrangements. Yeah, Joe, you like this? This is just in time for the holidays. Very color colorful uh, bouquet and arrangements, of course, very popular right now. But look a little closer in this particular one. Look at this greenery here. It's called Phil. Now, this is uh, Salau, but you'll also see Sword Fern and Oregon Grape. They're really popular for bouquets like this. And as it turns out, they're also big business off public lands, and some folks are taking advantage. <laughs> It's not a crime that Deputy Brent Seaholmes used to seeing on the Tillamook State Forest. I'm looking to see if there's a permit in the window, but it's supposed to be displayed so that we can see. No meth labs, poached wildlife, or trespass problems today. And so whoever's with the rig is, you know, out picking Sal Al, and that we'll try to see if we can find them. Instead, it's a new environmental crime. Some Sal Al and bear grass. Stealing bear native plants and on a huge scale. This bundle of sal al was, was illegally harvested in an area that ODF does not allow harvest. This is a sample from nearly a thousand pounds that he found. The people who picked it got away. How do you catch up with the people who are picking it? Well, that's not easy to do. I mean, they're up there in the, in the hills, and, and uh, sometimes they can see you coming before you see them, and oftentimes uh, they run from us. You got... Uh... Got one subject here, we got a couple up there, and then one just right above us here. So, Forest Deputy Landon Meyer says native plant pickers have hit the big time on public land. How many people do you have here picking? The pickers are required to buy and carry permits. These permits seem in order until... There's nothing shown that you guys have picked anything this year. The crew didn't write down the amount they picked each day as required, and they've been picking for a week. We need to... Yeah. to figure out how much you guys are taking out of here, okay? We'll come back to Meyer's case in a moment. Salal, so Hawk, and Beargrass are the three biggest ones. At the Portland Flower Market, colorful bouquets rest next to boxes of Salal and tubs of Beargrass. Richard Beerman says Oregon products are prized as filler and sent to places like Tokyo or Paris because the plants last for weeks. It's a million-dollar business, but sorting out legitimate from illegal harvesters is impossible. Yeah, and it's, that's a tough one. They've tried to pass some laws and stuff. On it. As a wholesaler, we don't, we can't do anything about it. Can we control it? No. Just a matter of who we choose to buy from. That's the crux of the crime, according to federal officer Bob Tokash. They've got a pretty good network, most of the pickers, if they're commercial. Both sides of the road are closed at this point in time, all forest products picking. He's been fighting illegal harvesters on the Gifford Pinchot since business exploded 15 years ago. He thinks they're on top of it now, but we weren't with him very long before this happened. Picking slough? Just walking? What about the slough in your van? The man tells Tokash that he's a buyer, but he picked slough. Bob thinks the man is sampling and scouting for a larger group that'll come in later. The trouble is the entire area is wilderness and close to harvest. So the man gets a citation. You can look, but when you pick, you need a permit. Tokash says from his experience, pressure on the illegal pickers won't eliminate the crime, but will move it. So they'll go into areas like Tillamook that they may not have the enforcement. And if there's no enforcement, that's where they're going to go. Myers and Seaholm agree that it is new business that's worth big money, and they have their hands full. 2,000 pounds of this stuff taken out of here? More than that, yeah. Whoa. Yep. More than that, just from this group alone. This is one van, and we've seen two vans, three vans today already. So. How much aren't we seeing? Exactly. Well, and it is exactly that hard to figure out because there's so much going on that the officers don't see. They do agree on one thing, though, a great environmental concern. Some products like bear grass are very sensitive species at higher altitude and elevation. If those are over-harvested, pick too much, the plants don't survive and damage results. Back to you, Joe. Tracy? Interesting. Grant McCall